Well, it's official. The reason I have gray hair, it's because I'm going to be a grandpa. My daughter Kelsey and, and son-in-law Nick are pregnant. For Chris and I, it's going to be our very first grandbaby. And for Mike and Sue, Nick's parents, it's going to be their very first grandbaby. So we're all really, really excited, obviously. And I suggested to everyone that if it's a girl, they should just name her Marvina. But they're not having any of that. <laughs> So a big shout out and congratulations to Kelsey and to Nick. You know, when an event like this takes place, well, for me, it, it just stopped me in my tracks. I went back to when my daughter was born and I, I remembered all the different emotions that were running through me. You know, the love, the joy, the excitement. And then the flip side, you know, the fear, the insecurities and all the questions. Oh, my goodness like how does it work or um how do you get that onesie thing to get on <laughs> the spit up is is that supposed to happen is she okay well you know sometimes life can come at you when you're not looking for it when you don't feel prepared or quite ready for it it can come at you. Sometimes it's fun and exciting. And other times, well, it's not. Sometimes it's fun news like your daughter is pregnant. And other times it could be, well, my car needs repair and I just don't have the money. Or there's a serious medical issue. Or there's a pandemic. Well, the good news is, folks, it didn't take God by surprise at all. And so I want to suggest whether it's a happy time or whether it's a hard time, make sure Jesus is in the boat with you. You see, in Philippians chapter 4, 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And in Matthew six thirty three, he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Church, Jesus needs to be in my boat. And when that happens, I can face anything, and so can you. Well, I hope this builds your faith, and I hope it encourages you. And I want you to know, a greater is he that's in you than he that's in the storm. He loves you. And this is Pastor Marvin saying, God bless.